Hello everyone, happy 2013. I am so excited to get to be here with you, even with my little bit of a frog. Been playing a little too hard. <laughs> Had lots of family in town the last couple of weeks. So I hope you can just uh, bear with me anyway because my hair was done. So if I wanted to do this video tonight, January 1st, and I thought what better um, opportunity to kick off 2013 than to get inspired myself. I'm always amazed um, as I'm thinking over what to share with you guys how much I needed to hear it too. So I wanted to share with you some keys to great goal setting. I know a lot of us at the beginning of beginning of a new year we like to sit and think through our goals for that year what's the year going to look like and after having done this this will be my 15th year in premiere I've done this a few times and I've done it incorrectly a few times I think I've got some good tips I can share with you so are you ready three tips to great goal setting key now three keys three tips three something tip number one take ownership and obviously if you're looking to set goals for your business anyway um, you're kind of gal who does take ownership and deciding what you want your year to look like and that is you know don't break your arm pat yourself on the back but give yourself a pat on the back there is uh, I have never met a person in premiere who just tripped into success who just tripped into a business who tripped into um, leadership there is it's always very specific things that they've been doing, things that they've been adding to their life, to their business, to make it happen. And that is something determining right now, you are the CEO of your company. And there is something profoundly um, inspiring, I hope, scary, um, the, the responsibility of that. I hope that inspires you and to take responsibility that way and take, like I said, take ownership of that. Um, you get to decide what your 2013 business is going to look like. And if this is a year as you look, oh, I've got to move, we've got a baby coming, we've got some significant life changes happening, this is not the year that I'm going to push on for senior leadership or making it happen this year. You get to decide that. That is one of the beauties of this business. And I, if nothing else that you get from today's call, video, whatever we are, <laughs> if nothing else, that you decide what that is going to look like. And you guys, those of you who've been with me for a while know that is my pretty much my ultimate soapbox in this business, is to not let your jewelry box sitting in the corner making you feel guilty. That you decide, because of X, Y, Z, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 in my life, I'm going to do three shows a month, one training a month, period. I'm not going to regional rally. I'm not going to national rally. You get to decide that. Now, I would counsel you to consider things different, <laughs> uh, but that you get to decide and take ownership of that um, in that. So that is definitely key number one is saying this is the year I'm going to take ownership. And like any good CEO, I, I can just about guarantee there's not a CEO out there that sits down on January 1st, makes um, her goals for the year, and then doesn't revisit them again until January 1st of 2014. No, she has those goals in front of her. They are defined. They are specific. They are attainable. They are yet going to push her a little bit, but they are sitting in front of her and Weekly, if not daily, she is reviewing those and looking at those. Um, she is definitely, she is definitely um, at least monthly, if not quarterly, saying, "What am I doing? Where am I at? What do I need to adjust? What happened last quarter?" Because you get to be your CFO as well on that, and so deciding this year and now if you're a person who just oh my goodness Jill, I can't believe I've just been you know skipping along doing this and I've never I've just kind of skipped along <laughs> you know what it is okay it was about four years ago uh, when Matt came home and was doing premiere full-time with me that we kind of looked at each other and said well we're not doing that we are not treating this like a business we need every Monday morning 
where are we at? Where are we going? How are things looking? Um, and I really asked him, I said, I need you to be my vision guy. I need you to be the one who's looking at least a year to five years down the road. Where are we going to be? What are we going to do? That it's not just this happy-go-lucky, and of course you can be happy-go-lucky as well while you're doing it. Um, but I guarantee Andy and Joan Horner had a one-year, five-year, ten-year goal of what it was going to look like. And I think God absolutely blessed that and blew that 10-year-old, 10-year vision out of the water, um, completely surpassed anything that they had thought they could achieve in 10 years you know, um, with this company. And so being faithful with that, being faithful with the business God has given you, um, taking ownership. Woo! Key number one. Key number two. Deciding, do I need to set my goals based on the amount of time I have available, or do I need to set my goals based on the income I need to make? Now those are, and that obviously can change year to year, it can change quarter to quarter, month to month um, on that, and looking at your year right now saying, this is where I'm personally at with seven children and very active and all the sports and activities and the older they get, um, Santa Claus brought Jack a, a parent-taught driver's ed program. Pink Santa. <laughs> Should have been a Santa-taught driver's ed program, but that's okay. You need to learn to drive a sleigh, I guess, instead. So we are adding that into our schedule of teaching Jack driver's ed uh, with that as well. So for me, it is, it's a time goal. I only have five nights a month that I can hold shows at. Uh, the five nights a month plus the one night a month for training uh, in there, plus giving myself opportunities to be able to travel and go to the areas that I need to go to. I cannot do more than five shows a month. So my 2013 is a time goal. Um, booking those five parties, holding those five parties um, every single month. Now you might be a person with this year, oh my gosh, I've got a kid going to college. Did you know you can give yourself a raise? You can give yourself a $1,000 a month raise. There, I don't know too many jobs that can do that in this economy, certainly. $12,000 a year, that will at least maybe pay his board. <laughs> I haven't looked at college prices lately. You know, or maybe a semester or quarter of tuition, depending on the college he's headed to. Um, that might be what your 2013 is looking like. I need to make X amount every month. What am I going to need to do to make that happen? And de defining that, determining that uh, for your business and for yourself and for your family, deciding what that's going to look like, and then going out and making that happen, of course. That's, that's actually key number three. Just got a little ahead of myself there. Key number three is doing it. You just, All the goals in the world, um, even Andy and Joan with as wise as they were, all the goals in the world, uh, or is not why Premier is successful. It certainly gave them a plan, a map to where they wanted to go, and then they had to put gas in the car and put get a car, put gas in the car, <laughs> put the key in the car, and go and do it. And that is where I want you to decide for 2013 what's holding you back. Is it a lack of skill? Do you just you feel like you're not Hostess coaching well enough. Your retail's not where you want it to be. Your bookings aren't where you want it to be. Your sponsoring's not where you want it to be. Maybe you've got that figured out for you and your personal business, but you have yet to be able to find someone on your team who wants to reproduce that and to be able to teach those skills to someone else. And so that your goal for 2013 is, I really want to learn how to teach these skills that I've learned to someone else. It's a very different skill set. Uh, teaching someone else how to be successful versus being successful your, yourself. And so deciding, is it a skill that I'm missing in there, or is it just a lack of discipline? Is it not uh, setting attainable goals, an attainable schedule? Am I not um, utilizing my time as effectively as I need to be? Uh, if money is what you need in this business, some things might have to go. Um, you might have to hold off on a couple of the volunteer positions that you've had in the past because you have to make X amount of money or you're going back to work full time um, or you're not going to be able to send the kids to college or you're not going to be able to take that dream 20 year anniversary vacation that you've been hoping and praying for uh, with that. So deciding 
what it is you want to achieve this year. Uh, set, determining is it time that's limiting me? Is it an income goal I need to reach? And then doing it. Making sure you have the skill sets that you need. Getting those. Oh my gosh, the amount of online training. If you're watching this video right now, yay! For online training, there's so much online training out there. Oh my gosh, you guys. The month, of course, going to your area trainings, of course, going to rally, um, being on the Facebook page, connecting with those people that are successful, finding out why they're successful, finding people that have similar personalities to you. I have seen people with every personality um, go all the way to the top, all the way to executive director and premier. Um, even with the most meek and mild and laid back, um, for which you guys know, that's just the opposite of me. So you do not have to be Jill Ross to be successful. Please, the world is not big enough <laughs> for two crazies um, like you and I. So determining that and then doing it, making it happen. Discipline-wise, um, those of you who've who've tried to get in shape in the past, and maybe you made it to January 7th. <laughs> you know what? I bet if you'd have hired a trainer, and every week he held you accountable, or even once a month held you accountable, and gave you a, here's what I want to see from you the next month, and gosh darn it, when you showed up the next month, and you gained 10 pounds, and um, went up in your body fat, and could do less reps than before, he'd say, what happened? And the accountability of that is going to help you stay on track. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm definitely, I grew up with way too many high school and college sports, and working out for me has to be a party. I know that shocks all of you, uh, that I need, when I go running, it needs to be 15 of us out there running together um, with a definite deadline at the end of something that I, <laughs> I'm going to be held accountable when we go run that 5K, and I've just, um, you know, clocked 15 minute miles the whole time. You're all going to know I haven't been working out. And uh, so that is something that I'm going to change this year. I'm doing my first half marathon on February 9th. I've been training for quite a while now. I'm uh, finally getting back into running. Can't seem to find 15 people to go running with me, but I've uh, got my little Nike Plus thing and I make my kids come when they're available for that. Bought a bike for my husband so he can come with me too and trying to make it a party and making it work for me. And you can definitely do that in your business as well. Find an accountability partner. There's, I will guarantee, absolutely guarantee, there is someone in this business who wants to go where you're going and wants to link arms and is willing to push and work just like you are to get there. And a lot of times it could be your premier mom, of course, a lot of times it's not. And oftentimes I find the most effective and the best accountability partners are people nowhere in your premier family, if you will. And finding that person who you can just, <laughs> she can kick your hiney better than your premier mom because of course there's always something in it for your premier mom. Um, but knowing this complete person who she just wants you to be successful because you want to be successful and you feel that same way about her and linking arms and running this race together. And if you have not found her yet, pray about it. Pray about it. God wants you to be successful and he can put that person in your life that can uh, help you achieve those goals as well. And certainly linking arms with your premier mom or grandma or great grandma as well, whoever the case may be there. And the beauty of the 10, 10, 10 is each of those levels can afford to spend just the same amount of time with you for that. So I'm so excited for you guys. 2013 and the chance to reinvent yourself, the chance to say this is the year. If you're already feeling like I'm not going to make it to Disney, well, A, you, number one, A, number one, <laughs> it's been a long vacation, <laughs> A, number one, there's still time, actually, to make that happen, but if you're a gal who's got the time commitments and you can only do so much, you could be on that designer trip for 2014, without a doubt, and giving yourself this year to make it happen. Oh, we love you guys. We pray for you all the time. I'm so excited. So excited for what this year is going to hold for you. And um, thank you for taking the last 15 minutes of your life with me. I love you guys. Have a fabulous, fabulous January.